So here we have a free set, free set, uh, UHD 500X 4K free view box with a problem. You go to recordings and it says hard disk is offline. Uh, press info, hard drive, blah, 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 but it's not working. Sometimes it comes up with other faults as well to say that your hard drive is broken um, and it tries to reboot itself and everything. So this is a short video on to show you not to panic and how to fix it. So you're going to need a few tools. There's this one here, which is like a little star with a tiny hole in. I don't know if it's quite in focus. Um, and like a little screwdriver. Um, you can see on this box that the warranty void thing, so this box hasn't been opened before. I'll dismantle it a little bit and then start again. You can see here I've just put the rubber lugs into the hard drive. And that's going to sit there. Uh, that's the details, just in case you want to know them. Um, I think you can go up to two terabytes, but because this is for a bedroom, um, I've kept it cheaper and just gone for this little 500 gig, which is what came out. Um, obviously a different make and everything. They seem to be more reliable. So that's what I'm going to fit. It's going to basically go here with the lugs holding it in the retaining clips, what you can just see on the left and right there, and left and right at the top. And then that plug, what goes into the hard drive, goes on these pins here. It's as simple as that. So now you can see that I've installed the hard drive by just plugging this plug in, and the little plastic lugs are there, but at the end of the screwdriver, the light's not great. Um, but it literally just holds it in and then it's as simple as literally popping the lid back on Like so so that's what we add lid goes back on Might need two hands to do it to line everything up Anyway, I'm going to pop the lid on and then I'm going to put the two screws, uh, what I took out, which are over here in the back. Um, and then I'll show you it working. So that's the old drive what come out of it. So if you pardon the mess, um, all I've done is simply put my cables back in the back of this box. I'm in the kids' bedroom. Um, turn the box on, Teddy's back to how it was a moment ago. Um... You have no recordings to make press ok but no no problem 100 percent available on the hard drive there with no issues whatsoever so if i go home and go to tv again this has just literally been switched on from a factory reset or whatever so it might take a moment because it's only just had the wires plugged in So we just wait and see what happens. I might just give it a moment and then start the video again. Hang on. Okay, so we're back again now. Um, so I just had to uh, like reset the box on this occasion and put in my postcode, plug in the signal to get the telly. If I go TV guide, it now comes along. If I go back, uh, back home and I'll go to recordings you see that there are no recordings on the box because it's just got the new hard drive in so I'm going to go back to TV guide I'm going to select something at random let's say GP's behind closed doors I'm going to go enter I'm going to watch it I'm going to press record and just record this episode just going to leave that just for, I don't know, 10 seconds or so. Yeah, so well, I'll just put that on recording and I'll quickly flick to another channel while that's playing. Uh, like Top Gear, for argument's sake, watch live. So that's Top Gear. I'm then going to go back home and I'll go to recordings. And there you are, you can see it there. So if I go like that and we go uh, 
watch recording now and that's what we had a little while ago so it is totally fixed good luck with your repair <laughs> <laughs>